Hi, welcome to show 279. We're in the record room. We're in the record room without any records. Yeah, well, there's a box of 45. Actually, you are sitting on a box of 45. So you there's are. some rather nice bits that I have picked up down here. Yeah. But uh, I just haven't managed to get any more back in. But like the, uh, like the 007 stage at Pinewoods, the shed is being rebuilt and reborn and reimagined in a better so way. So we are actually where the shed was. Mm -hmm. there you so go. Yeah, we're in the spiritual site of the shed. Yeah, and very soon, hopefully by next week, there will be more stuff in it and a bit more space. Hopefully, yeah, but it's really big. It is, it is. It's like, I can do this, and I'm about halfway across it. There you go. Couldn't have done that in the shed. No, sir. No chance, yeah, no chance. Anyway, we're starting with a nice collector's piece, an interesting piece. Of yeah, course. Excavator Future of 2000. I, was, uh, I, I, picked this up. I mean, I've got the British copy of this with the spray sleeve, but it was really nice to find a minty, still sealed copy at a boot sale. There you go. You know, it's not the best rapper in the world, but it's a no. bit of history right there. It's like that rap you used to get turned up in early 80s sitcoms when the teacher would become cool or something. Well, funnily enough, I was just dad. watching that Hip Hop Evolution, actually, with my brother-in-law, and uh, there was a bit where they're rapping Rodney Dangerfield on it, so it was very similar. When you say rapping Rodney, I get shivers, mate. No, I know. Not that Rodney. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's really anyway. good. Yeah. Music by The Clash. Yes, that's the interesting part. That's right. Next up, a cheap, cheap album by The Temptations, but it's one that I haven't really come across before, um, but I thought I'd pick it up because it was a quid. But there's one nice little groove on this, and it's called Is There Anybody Else? I don't know, Brad is there? I don't know. Yeah, Temptations, that's a nice groove. It's really nice. Yeah, it's late, 76. Um, I think you've still got some of the Funk Brothers there as well, yeah? You, do, and, you definitely uh, you have. got three of the... Uh, Original temps in there, I think, or the classic temps, Otis and uh, Melvin Dennis, I think, still around. Yeah, and you have got, like you say, uh, some of the Funk Brothers, Melvin Wawa, yep. uh, James Gadson, Eddie Bongo Brown. Yep. So, yeah, there you go. It's nice. It's it is cheap. Nice, yeah. it it's funny, isn't it? It's just all these little bits that I think the last year we've played three or four Temptations. I think we have. Nice. I think we've yeah. done it in the last about three or four months. Yeah, we have, yeah. So, yeah, it's good. Cool. Anyway, next up, we have got. Some occult rock. I uh, got a nice little collection actually stuff. last week, and, uh, but it's pretty jazzy, so here we go. Yes. Invaded by my son. <laughs> you may remember him from being a baby if you were watching this five years ago. Mm -hmm. He's nearly six now. Mm -hmm. it's anyway, tall. this is called Attack of the Demon, and it's from this album uh, Black Widow Sacrifice. Chris secretly loves this sort of thing. I, was I in, do, I do. I was with a girl the other day called Sam, and she works in the most haunted village in England. Where is that? Uh, it's called something like this, a cuddle. Or something like that, and that sounds weird. Uh, Canoodle. Canoodle? Where yeah. the hell? Where's... It's in Essex. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, or something like Canoodle, but the, um, yeah, it's in Essex, and she was telling me about the Anchor Pub. Okay. And Sarah the Witch is the best. Wow, mm. check it out. And apparently at Halloween, they closed off the church and the graveyard and the police stopped because people trying to go there so much. It's so haunted. Really? Mm. Wow, I want to go there now. I knew you would because yeah. you like this sort of thing. I do. And this, too, I've got this as well. Uh, Jody Grind, one step on, and he's dressed up like a wizard on the back. Look at that. Great. It's really good, but I think it would turn most people off if we played it on the show. So yeah, there you go. It's, it's got lots of interesting bits on lo it. Though. Loads of good bits on it. But this is a nice little group, This it? is nice, yeah. Anyway, next up, I've got a, a fantastic little find at a boot sale yesterday, and it's a really good Beatles cover. Really good. It's really good, yeah. And it's, uh, I don't know, is it Northern? It's not Northern, it's more R&B, but quite sped, sped up. Anyway, it's uh, the centuries, things we said today, and it is really good, so here we go. Yeah, I've got a lot of envy over this 45, and Chris played it to me. Yeah, things we said today by the Beatles, done by the Centuries. Centuries on B records. Wishing you were. And on the other side, there's a. It's a Welsh tar. Yeah, it's no. nice. <laughs> the other side is a female singer. Yeah. Who I don't really listen to. The opening was nice. Brenda, I believe her name is. Oh, Brenda. Brenda in the Centuries. Yeah. Tonight, if you're watching this early enough. 
Selena Jones is playing in Marlowe. Wow. For a tenner. Jesus. With an orchestra. Well, I mean, that's cheaper than Alexander O'Neill. That is cheaper than Alexander O'Neill. And um, maybe Keith Mansfield will be there. Yeah. You never know your luck. Yeah, so, but ten quid. And uh, yeah, we're going to see Alexander O'Neill because, you know, we're 80 like soul brothers. That's right. Yeah. Like no others. Like no others. We're going with our man Paul Tilly. Yeah. yeah. Probably going to go and see KRS One as well at the end of this month at the Jazz Cafe. All the chip shop in Brixton is at both. There but you I go. promised my brother in law I'd take him. He's over from India, so I promised I'd take him to a hip hop gig. That's the one. That's the one. That's yeah. right. So if anybody else out there knows anything that's going on before the end of October, let me know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I like this. It's kind of like a the Beatles turned into a chase caper. Yeah. You know what I mean? In some sort of 60s Mancini sort of like thing. Yeah. Wicked though. Really like this. Yeah, I like this. Very nice little groove. I don't know yeah. what year it's from. It's brand new. Well, it's from this year then. Brand new, That's yeah. How it works. Turned up last week. <laughs> yeah, Fat Fred, Apple Pie on Rockerport Records or Rockerport, Rockerport, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Nice. Justice says, and Mr. Glaxus's take is out. Yes. Out now. And also the um, Darren Berry Woods as well, his take, the um, Duke Joint take as well. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> Darren Barry Woods tape is out now. That's Get it because it is yeah, one nice artwork. Huge hour of beautiful spiritual soul R&B and everything that is good. Uh, I'll tell yeah. you what I mean. It's been a long time in the in the coming, but it's finally here. The man is awesome and he's got yeah. the most insane record collection. Yeah, and he's a lovely guy as well. And as is the label, Mudge is a wonderful label, run by a it. wonderful man with a wonderful family and a wonderful dog. Yeah, he's got a very wonderful dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I like this. Next up, uh, good old pals in uh, Ohio. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Terry Cole Mine is uh, obviously, uh, we played the last Remind uh, one, and this is the new one on Remind. Uh, and it's Dave Hamilton, Ain't It A Groove, and Can You Dig It on the other side. They're both good, but I think we're gonna go with Ain't It A Groove, uh, which is the A side, incidentally. So get this, because these are selling like hot cakes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Com confident guitar work and drumming in this, but very nice, beautifully produced as well. Yeah, just over five years ago, I think it was in August, five years ago, yeah. we fired Shed Satellite. Uh, we interviewed our man Terry Coalmine. That's right. Teacher by day, Funk Funketeer. <laughs> Funketeer by, by night, night. Exactly. Yeah. and at weekend. Uh, we interviewed him in his amazing studio in his whole beautiful house. And he's got a great studio, you know, that you need to get that real sound. Oh, totally. Yeah. And some of those coal mine 45s, I've picked up a lot of them, they end up going up a few quid as well. <laughs> they right? really they do. They really do. Yeah. So they're a sound investment, but you wouldn't want to sell them when they sell them this good. No. No. No, it's very nice, very nice. And now from Ohio, we're going all the way over to Melbourne, Australia. Now, what? I picked up their last single, uh, and it was like a cover of White Lines and Smack My Bitch Up. Yeah. And they've beautifully, cleverly done a cover of Super Freak and Justin Timberlake's Like I Love You. It's so good. It is so good. Uh, and it's, yeah, I think this is, um, what's his name? Um, Northside Chris at Northside Records in Melbourne, which I visited. Famous Northside way Chris. O way over 10 years ago. Nicest guy. And uh, I think he's pretty much uh, doing this. And I know that um, they played in his shop and all that sort of stuff. But anyway. Get this while you can because these go up in price hugely and it's on Choi Records. And I've got to thank Mr. Andy Hicks for putting me onto these and probably the last one as well because he's a lovely guy. Uh, anyway, so let's guy. let's go with a bit of uh, <laughs> Like I Love You, big band style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably Excellent. the best cover of Like I Love You since I heard Andy Bookwell do it at Boson's Locker in 2004. Really? He used to do this. He used to do this to get the ladies in the uh, uh, pub. Well, I'm sure the uh, the traffic do it as well to get the ladies. Yep, they certainly do. I this love is one it. of those tease the crowd that aren't really into your music um, 45s. It gets the dance floor going. Totally. Yeah. It's brilliant. It certainly is. I like it. Yeah. I like the version of Super Freak. It's really good. It's really good. But seriously, I mean, the, I think the first 
first pressings of the white line, smack the bitch up, they're already about 50 quid already, so. There you go, that's going as well. Yeah, but this is lovely, really nice. If you're looking for good records, why you should why you should come down to the Hot Butter Soul Music Archaeology You shop. really should, you really should, because there's lots of stuff in there. I would say there's a good five, six hundred soul and disco twelves at the moment. There's tons of reggae in there, there's loads of good stuff, there's some nice, nice collections have come. So, oh, yep. come down. It's in South Arrow, opposite the South Arrow, Piccadilly Line Station. Yeah, Mondays and Saturdays, 10-ish to 5-ish. Although at the moment, Tuesdays, the shop is not open because Mr. Brown is a busy boy and he can only do uh, Thursdays at the moment. So, Tuesdays, yeah. not open. So the shop may not be as clean as it normally is. No, no. <laughs> But there'll be plenty of good stuff Sweet in there. Sweet wrappers and shit all over the yeah. floor. <laughs> if you want to come and see us play, well, we have some gigs coming up, Ooh. but on November the 25th, we will be in Brighton at Jazzology. That's right. I'm looking forward to that. It is a special night in a special place, the Black Dove in Brighton. Totally. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I think we're going to bring the heat, Chris. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bring the heat. Jazz style. Jazz style, mate. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right, yeah. We've got a charity gig coming up as well where we're playing disco. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I think also there's a, there's another um, Roper Dope uh, Beeline Jam over in Bristol at the Roper Dope. Yeah. Uh, and that, is that is early November. There you go. I've just got the... Uh, I just got the okay from Mr. Simon specifically himself. Yeah. Big up to you, sir, because the last one was excellent. So pack your way down to Bristol. I'll give you the details next week. Okay. Uh, there'll be, there'll be, you know, B-Boys, there'll be live MCs, a cypher, there's graph going on all day. It's Drunk and old man. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, come along, bro, because the last okay. one was really good. And I'll probably be selling records. Yeah. There you go. 100%. So, yeah, yeah, come down. Yeah. I always discount for a kiss. <laughs> there you go. This is not a lie. <laughs> Yeah, this is Papillon Rouge. Yeah, this is uh, Italian, and <laughs> it's uh, uh, Paolo Salvatoni and his orchestra. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think this is on the Bosworth label as well. It is on Bosworth, It is on Bosworth, yeah. yeah. I had it a long time ago. I got it a long time ago, and we've played it on the show. Yeah. And it's nice that it's on a 45. It's... Yeah. Um, I meant to say, talking of Australia, the last track, obviously, coming from Australia, um, uh, we've got um, a, oh, sorry, again, shall I? We have a podcast to plug. Uh, by, um, um, it's a podcast called Groove Delica. Groove it's Delica. On Apple iTunes podcast, or whatever it's called, on the interwebs. Um, it's out of Melbourne, Australia. Wow. And it's a good man, Paul Tilly's good man. Cool. Yeah, the guy's a genius. I've seen his track before he makes all these videos, so he's got a band. Okay. The podcast is about music. And I think next year he's coming over here and he's going to come on the show. Awesome. Yeah. And Mr. Tilly, our good friend Mr. Tilly, uh, is going to be doing uh, a um, Loose End special podcast with him. Okay, cool. Yeah, so nice. there you go. So cool. Anyway, check it out. I'll pull it up on our Facebook as well. This is lovely. This is very nice. Not just a break. We might have an extra song this week. We anyway, our, our theme of the week but is actually... We don't actually, feel guilty about it. No, well, no, we don't feel guilty. I love this track. So do I. And it's from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Mmm. Look, tapes. It's like, it's like Tony Justice's house. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, deluxe edition where you get all the incidental music as well. Uh, I think we played the first album as well, didn't we? We did, we did. We like Guardians of the Galaxy here. We do, we do. Yeah, uh, The Shed. Uh, Shed Part 2. Yeah, and we love Parliament, obviously, as well. Totally. Yeah, so everyone's yeah. a winner. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's nearly it from us. But um, we have to sneak in. We yeah, could decide if we wanted to play this or not. And we felt we should. Now, you, you, you can get this. this sort of thing. You can get this for 20p. Anywhere, and you would always flick past it. Oh yeah, <laughs> Bab Streisand and uh, the, the, the 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 lion himself. Bab Very good. Bab anyway, uh, but let's go with a bit of guilty. That was uh, that was me and Chris on the back. Right? <laughs> come on, Chris, come in, come in. <laughs> oh, format, you know you love that. <laughs> oh yeah. Lovely. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, let's so play. let's go a bit of a uh, 
I, I, I believe some people call it rear groove. Seriously. <laughs> come on. You can have someone say, yeah, baby. Yeah. Why don't you come over here and tell them to shower? It is like rear groove. You've been in the garden doing all that weeding? I'll scrub you down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll probably take it out before Barry starts singing though. Oh, I like Barry. Because we got my friend on my girl. I love that. What's his name? Uh, um, Johnny. Um, no, Fallon. Um, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Jimmy Fallon does it. Yeah, with um, Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Two matches of Justin Timberlake in our show. What's that all about? It'll start watching soon. Anyway. Anyway, that's it for us. We will week. catch you next week when the, hopefully there'll be art on the walls. Hopefully, yeah. And one day, yeah. Make sure you check out Quake Fast Show because we know that Tough Cut loves a bit of Babs. And uh, 4 till 6 on Itch FM. Make sure we ch you check out Disco Glitterball Jeff on a Thursday. That's right, on Liquid. definitely loves a bit of abs. He does. <laughs> so, and um, uh, our main boys in London will do, be doing something somewhere, I'm sure. The um, of Mr. Higgs and Mr. Parker. Of course. You know it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Bye-bye. <laughs>